Hi fellow Woodcrafters, I'd like to introduce a new feature available in Woodcraft 2.0. We've built new alignment tools in Woodcraft that can help you line up your lumber together in a number of different ways. If you didn't know, Woodcraft has always provided different modes when tapping on the central movement arrow while lumber is selected. You have the nudge arrows, which are black, the movement constraint arrow, which constraint movements only to the horizontal axis, and the movement constraint arrow in the vertical axis. In Woodcraft 2.0, we've enhanced the movement arrow with alignment tools. These tools are only accessible if multiple pieces of lumber are selected. You can use the Select More menu item from the two finger tap pop up menu like this. However, one of the quickest ways to select multiple pieces of lumber in Woodcraft is to use the Selection Rectangle tool by tapping the Application Toolbar icon. The Selection Rectangle tool only selects an object if one of its corners or the center of the object is within the rectangle. When you have multiple pieces of lumber selected, a single tap on the movement arrow presents the new alignment tool. You'll notice that when the alignment tools appear, the last object that is part of your selection turns orange. We call this orange piece the reference object. The reference object never moves during alignment and is the one other pieces of lumber will align to. If you are not satisfied with the reference object, simply select another piece of lumber. Since the last selected piece is always the reference, it will turn orange. You can also deselect and reselect one piece to make it the reference object. The icons laid out around the movement arrow explain the alignment operation. The four icons surrounding the movement arrow are Align Top, Align Right Edge, Align Bottom, Align Left Edge. Every piece of lumber that is unlocked and that is not the reference object will be aligned accordingly. Let's try aligning the tops. Notice that the orange reference did not move during the operation. If I align the left edges of my selected lumber to the reference object, everything will be stacked together. Notice how the rotated boards have their leftmost point lined up with the left side of my reference object. Let's undo this alignment as it is not what I intended. The two other alignment methods available are horizontal center alignment and vertical center alignment. In these modes, the centers of every selected piece are aligned with the center of the reference object. When using the horizontal method, pieces of lumber will not move in their vertical axis. When using the vertical alignment method, selected pieces will not move in the horizontal axis. Let me demonstrate vertical alignment now. Every piece is now aligned through their center, but nothing moved horizontally. We hope you find the new alignment tools in Woodcraft useful. Thank you.